going on YouTube? This is Daxon here, Weaver Family Farm. So this is kind of an idea my wife kind of thought of the different pieces and then I kind of put it together in my head. I've seen people do similar things like this before. Um, however, I haven't seen one with like the suspended uh, feed and water buckets we have so they can't knock them over. So that's a solution in itself. Um, a lot of food and water bowls puppies want to knock over and it's about time for it to be cleaned out. It doesn't last too long. However, it keeps the puppies really dry with this uh, uh, pine shavings you can see over there in the bag. And we just kind of spread them evenly in here and it, uh, and it helps, you know, when they're not outside, you know, when they're in here, you know, they have plenty of room to play around instead of using just like a crate or something. And we have two of these buckets. Um, they're telling me it's time to eat again. Two of these buckets uh, for food and then we have one for water right here. Um, the only problem I'm really coming into right now is of course they're getting a lot of pine shavings in the food and water which it's not too hard to take that out uh, but they're telling you hi we got one cockapoo here all these guys have deposits already for their new home it's a cockapoo right here these are cavapoos but this is what they stay in overnight and everything and they do really good in here but yeah the pine shavings really help soak everything up and there's almost no smell at all here in our garage they stay nice and warm or cool in the, in the summer you know uh, but we just bought one of these large pools um, from Walmart. It was like seven bucks. And then we already had this for outside. Um, and it fit perfectly around that. And I'll get the measurements on that. I'll go measure it in a second and kind of tell you if you're wanting to make a setup like this. But uh, we really like this setup a lot. We've tried for years and all different types of things. And so far, this is the probably the cheapest solution. But the one we're most impressed with um, at the time. So... Always some, you gotta think of something new, you know, when you're uh, working with animals of any kind. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go measure this pool and measure each one of these sections and how many sections there are so you can try to get a nice tight fit. Because if this one is to fit tight, you don't want the puppies to jump down and get in between the pool and stuff, which no one's even tried yet. <clears throat> but that is where we are at. So I'm gonna measure oh, the right pool right. itself and measuring from side to side here is about 57 inches wide all the way around. Once again, got this pool at Walmart. It's just a kid's swimming pool. Um, and now I'm gonna measure these side pieces here. See what we can figure out by the width. So two foot is each one of these sections here. And so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight sections, two foot a piece. So that's a total of, I guess, uh, 16 foot all the way around. And that fits snugly up against this pool, as you can see right here. But yeah, we really like this. Thumbs up if this uh, video helped you, gave you a good idea. Always trying to keep puppies cleaner and healthier and happier, you know, with more room and everything, you know, when they can't play outside on days when it's uh, rainy and things like that. This really helps keep them uh, nice and clean. And then Get happy, be tired over there. I've been playing with the toys too long, but uh, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. Something else I forgot to talk about was um, this is the cheap chain you can buy at uh, Lowe's or Orsland's or Menards or whatever. And then just uh, one of these, I think they call them like a thumb hook or something, I'm not sure, you know, that slides open. And you can kind of suspend this. I want the, the water, you know, as close as I could get it down to the ground but it's also slightly suspended. See, so if they bump it, it goes back up straight by itself. Then, of course, about clean. So cleaning won't be uh, too hard at all, especially since this is plastic and it can be you know, easily power washed. Um, and this, the cage part itself actually won't really even get dirty, so you can slide that off and set it over you know, to the side. And then you take the swimming pool out you know, to a ditch or a uh, bare spot in your yard. I don't know if it'd help grass grow or anything. Probably, they're, urine and poop would probably kill the grass but uh, you can spray wash it all out blow it out with the leaf blower use your hose you know spray it all out and everything put new pine shavings in after it dries out a little bit and you're good to go and it's uh, perfectly clean again